Hi, welcome to the Brief Book Reviews channel, otherwise known as An Old Guy Reviews the Book That He's Read This Week. What's the old guy read this week? Well, the book I've read this week is called Tom Clancy, Command and Control by author Mark Cameron. Helpfully tells us on the front, it's a Jack Ryan novel. Uh, released here in the UK as a hardback on the 21st of November 2023, 449 pages, so a chunky old read. And it's another adventure for Jack Ryan. Uh, Mark Cameron has continued the uh, Jack Ryan franchise, if you will, and uh, I was quite interested to see how this book went. I read the original Clancy novels and enjoyed them. So at any rate, what's Jack up to in this one? Well, President Jack Ryan has had a call from the uh, President of Panama, somebody you know as President Batero, who tells him of the, the unrest in the country and wonders if uh, Ryan could make a visit to Panama to sort of boost the democracy in the region, if you will. Ryan is planning to go to Argentina to a world leaders summit, so thinks this would be a good idea to pop in and support the, uh, the Panamanian uh, president. His advisors aren't, uh, aren't as keen because there's been you know, problems in the area before and then there's the history with Noriega and you know, being seen as a US puppet, but, but Jack goes ahead. And they, they came up with a, some subterfuge, you know, obviously if Air Clark, when, when Air Force One flies in, everybody knows about it. So they come up with a cunning plan to get Jack in the country without too many people knowing about it until he's actually there, which is all well and good until Jack lands right in the middle of a military coup. Turns out there's a Russian-backed plan to effectively block the Panama Canal. Just so happens that a Russian destroyer and a troop ship are in the area in the canal and they're going to offer to help as good citizens uh, when, when all hell breaks loose and uh, the military, military coup takes place. Um, this, is, uh, this is bad enough, but it turns out that the uh, people that are helping facilitate this are called the Camarilla Group, who are a bunch of highly trained mercenaries and well known on the, you know, they're on the CIA's radar, they're on everybody's radar. And they're, they're also in country uh, facilitating this coup with, with local dissidents. But it turns out, of course, that once they find out that President Jack Ryan is, is in the house, if you will, that's an ideal opportunity to uh, kill two birds with one stone, you know, help, help organise the coup and eliminate the American president. So that's the background of the book. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. There's a there's a list. There's a helpful list of characters involved in, the, in that are involved in the book. That's you know laid out at the start of the book. And there is a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot of action. Probably the action is in, probably in the last quarter of the book. The main action uh, involving Ryan. Um, I, I guess if one were to be uh, slightly picky, you could say that whilst this is a Jack Ryan novel. There's not a whole lot of Ryan in this, or indeed uh, Jack Ryan Jr., who's part of the campus, the uh, civilian organisation, that uh, the deniable civilian organisation that assists the CIA with various uh, tasks. And in fact, you know, this book focuses on two new campus operatives and how they fit in. And it also features the CIA team who are doing covert, covert ops. So it's a very well written book. It's very fast paced. It covers the geopolitical implications, you know, the Russians and the Americans getting involved. It covers the, you know, the passage in, in and out of the Panama Canal and how important that is to, to trade. So very thorough. If you're a military uh, enthusiast, the uh, lots of detail about you know, the military equipment used and, and the guns that the, the operatives used. Uh, you know, for an old English guy, the gun bit probably wasn't as, as, as interesting. But nevertheless, a very well-written book. Um, as I said, probably the only picky thing would be that there's not a whole lot of Ryan and it. it's more based on the, on the campus guys and what, what they're doing. But nevertheless, it's an engaging tale. It, it's it's well-written and I'd give it 8 out of 10. You know, great, great present for somebody for uh, for Christmas, whatever. Um, so that's it for this week's brief book review. Um, thanks for watching 1010 till we do it again.